so hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel friends in this video i'll be uh, discussing about the ibm data analytics certification course versus google data analytics certifications course now friends the previous days i made a video on to both the courses and i have made a detailed overview detailed discussion on both the courses i have given my honest reviews so if you haven't checked out that particular video you can check out uh, those videos also now coming to this particular video on whether you should be uh, pursuing the google data analytics certification course or the IBM data analytics certification course now both the courses they have bit of similarities and also multiple differences in about all these things into this video ahead now first of all we will start with the similarities in both the courses now both the courses they are being taught by the data analytics professional so google data analytics certification course is being taught by the google data analyst employees mind you and also the ibm data analytics certification course is also being taught by some of the good data analytics professionals from uh, ibm so friends this is kind of similarity also the cost with respect to the cost part so both these uh, courses are being uh, hosted on to the coursera platform so the cost remains the same for both the courses but you can definitely get the financial aid uh, to get this particular course for free and you can learn all the data analytics concepts now coming to the differences part the very first difference which i would like to point out here is the ibm data analytics certification course is teaching python as a programming language and the google data analytics certification course is teaching r so friends uh, as i had said into my previous videos also i prefer python to learn at a very fresher level because python is very much scalable with use of python i can do data analysis i can work on software development projects so it is highly scalable and it is used at multiple uh, places so if you'll be learning r that is also a fantastic decision but uh, i would be preferring python over r so friends uh, i'll be giving uh, ibm data analytics certification course a point here so uh, but nothing against r you can definitely pursue it is also a very good programming language but i like technologies which can be deployed into multiple areas simultaneously so friends i'll go with python any day so friends now coming to the second point and the second difference and that is the in the technology part the tools which they will be teaching so in the google data analytics certification course they have their own google sheets and in the ibm data analytics certification course you'll be learning excel but the concepts they remain the same so uh, that is the only difference in them now coming to the data visualization ibm data analytics certification course they teach you cognos as a software to learn the data visualization techniques and the google data analytics certification course they teach you tableau uh, both the courses they teach you SQL and coming to the programming language as they, as we discussed earlier uh, IBM teaches you Python and Google teaches you R so friends these were some of the differences main differences on the technologies so if you are someone who uh, who is willing to learn Python who is seeing his career into Python you should definitely go for IBM and if you are someone who is willing to learn R so the Google data analytics certification course is made for you rest all the other technologies they kind of re remain 90% or 95% similar everything boils down to a sim single point and that is the programming language of your preference and if you're willing to learn python then you can go with ibm data analytics certification course but r is also a very good uh, decision if you're thinking to pursue so you can take google data analytics certification course also and a very good uh, statistics here onto the IBM data analytics certification course which you can see onto my screen so uh, here you can see 21% start a new career after completing this specialization so out of 100 people who are pursuing this course who are completing this course 31% uh, people are definitely getting a job or they are transitioning into the data analytics profile while if I'm visiting the Google data analytics certification course I'm not getting any of this number so my uh, reliability will be going to IBM because they are providing me a data like if 100 people are doing 31 people are getting a success but 
in the google data analytics certification course i'm not getting such a data here also the google data analytics certification course it is quite lengthy in nature so it takes you around six months uh close to six months while you can complete this course within six months also but when i've talked to multiple candidates about this particular certification course they had told to me like the google data analytics certification course they teach very much slowly in nature i mean whatever content uh, they are covering in three months they can that can be easily covered in one month only so friends with respect to that part i guess they are teaching everything into much much detail from a very beginner level perspective so that is why uh, this might feel like a slow paced course also and also this is very much lengthy in nature <laughs> Now coming to IBM data analytics certification course, it is close to around 11 months, but you can cut down to around two to three hours per week. So you can just see like the IBM data analytics certification course is much more shorter duration uh, with respect to the timeline of the course. I think the IBM data analytics certification course, the 50% of the program they constitute of the programming language that is Python, they are heavily focusing on to the Python language. So they are teaching every concept into very much detail. It's, they include a capstone project at the very end so you can go and explore your area of interest so you can just pick out any data set and you can just visualize do data analysis on that particular data for example if i'm interested into sports analytics i'll go to the uh, any dashboard i'll pick any data set with respect to any sports and i'll be trying to do analysis uh, onto my own and that would be a capstone project so that is a very good thing about this course because you're learning this skill and then you'll you're getting an opportunity to apply all these skills into the real world scenario so that makes a real professional and it gets you an hands-on experience onto these skills or the tools which you are learning since so i think by now you must have understood all the similarities and the differences into both the courses now uh, one thing i would like to point out here is uh, all the many multiple things are close to around 80 percent of the things they remain the same uh, in both the courses but i find a major difference here that is into the programming language which they are teaching so if you're someone who is looking out to learn python try to pursue this ibm one and if you're something uh, someone who is looking out to pursue the uh, the R programming language try to pursue this uh, uh, Google data analytics certification course but both the courses are uh, awesome into their own respect the both the courses are being taught by the data analytics professionals they are the best in, into the world right now so friends I hope I was able to make a clear differences on to what is the which is the course which is best suited for you and you might have got a better picture by now focus on gaining all these skills and all to the concepts on to the courses which they are teaching and definitely you can make a transition into the data analytics profile i hope you like this particular video if you had found this video very much helpful press the like button and subscribe to my channel to receive such good content on a daily basis so meet you in the next video till then thank you so much bye